careful. Did you notice the sunset? I'm going to start because I noticed the moon. Did you see the moon these, this, like this past, like about a few days ago? It was unbelievably bright. I felt like I was living in Manhattan and it was streetlights shining into, into my apartment. But it wasn't. It was the moon. What else did you notice? Anything? What, your flowers? They're all in bloom. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. A lot of color? A lot of color? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it has. It has. Really sparkly. Lucky we can get to look at it. Did anybody see dolphins? Anybody see them? Did you? Oh, you did? You got a dolphin day? I'm jealous. That's pretty cool. You had a dolphin day? You had a dolphin day? No, really? Oh, that's really wonderful. That's awesome. See? That's what a prayer is about. That's very cool. Anything else? Anybody know? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Your neighbor has magnolia. That's great. Those are those waxy leaves. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, we'll continue now, moving on to page 63, with Ahavat Olam, with a sense of being just offered love. You know, very often um, uh, churches talk a lot about, you know, God is love, and there's love, and and Jews sometimes wonder, you know, are we on the short end of the stick here? Well, let me tell you, the prayers that surround the Shema Yisrael are both before the Shema and then the prayer right after the Shema are all about the presence of love in our world. This is the prayer before the Shema, Ahavat Olam, and it means with great love that we are given love freely. We don't have to deserve it. We don't have to do anything special. We don't have to ask for it. We get it. We are given love. And then we'll say the Shema, and then the prayer immediately after, the Viahavta, is the same verb from Ahava, and it means, and you shall love. You shall be a loving person. You have the chance to put love out into the world. So the core part of the evening service, of the Marib service, is wrapped, bookended, in prayers that invite us to know that love is our, is our gift, is our birthright, is our defining quality as being human. We are held in love. Ahavat Olam. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amcha Torah u mitzvot, chukim o mishpatim, o tanu limadita. Al kein Adonai Eloheinu, b'shoch be'enu uvkumeinu, nasiach b'chukecha. V'nismach b'divrei Toratecha,
seated, continuing with the Via Havta. Via Havta et Adonai Eloecha, Vecho Levavcha, Vecho Nafshecha, Vecho Meotecha, Vehayu Hadvarim Haele, Asher Anohi, Metzavecha. Ayom Oliva Vecha, Veshinantam Levanecha, Vedi Bartabam, Veshiv Techa, Beve Techa, Uvlech Techa, Vaderech, Uv Shoch Becha, Uv Kumecha, Ukshar Tamle Otaya Decha, Vehayula Tota Fot, Bene Necha. Uchtavatam al mezuzot vetecha uvisharecha. I'd like to invite Julia to come up and lead us in a reading that we'll find in the back of our prayer book on page 773 in the middle of the page. 773 in the middle. Belief in God, therefore, has to do with human nature, with the way individual men and women act, with their attitudes, their ideas of what is good and what is bad, with their ideals. Belief in God has to do with our attitude towards life itself. Do we find life good? Is it worthwhile? If we believe that life is worthwhile, that it is good, that in spite of sickness and accidents, in spite of poverty and war, in spite of all the sad and difficult conditions in the world, the world is a wonderful place to live in and can be made a still better place than we believe in God. When we believe in God, we cannot be discouraged because we believe that all the misery in the world is due not to the fact that misery must be there, that it is a necessary part of life, but due to the fact that we have not yet discovered how to do away with that misery. So that reading was um, written originally by Ira Eisenstein, who was Mordechai Kaplan's son-in-law, married Mordechai Kaplan's daughter, Judith Eisenstein. And he was the one who really um, took Reconstructionism from being a philosophy into actually becoming a movement, because it was Ira who said, yeah, we need Reconstructionist congregations, and yes, we need a Reconstructionist college to graduate Reconstructionist rabbis 